So I woke up today to a rather alarming message or several messages on my Instagram account today. And this is what it said. The owner of Sweet Hazel & Co., Felicia Ray McClure, is a registered sex offender who tried to sell her daughter's virginity at the age of 13. She is lying about the age. She wasn't 16. She was 13. Even if she was 16, it's still disgusting. She should not be allowed around kids, let alone hosting a drag show for all ages. She is a groomer, just like the men who groomed her to sell her daughter's virginity. Beware. Google if you don't believe me. So that's what I woke up to. Um, many of you who know my channel know that I've been posting a lot of content for Sweet Hazel and Co. over the last few months. Um, probably more content than I've done for any other companies simply because I really, really liked the product. Um, I was not paid to do any of the content that I made. Uh, they simply sent me their product and I really liked them. So uh, I've done videos with um, my, my nieces and I've made YouTube videos, reels, on this channel, the uh, the Instagram channel, and uh, TikTok. So I've got several, several videos of their products over the last few months uh, promoting their company. So of course, after seeing this, uh, this is something very alarming. I want to get to the bottom of this and find out if this is true. So immediately I went to Google and I started searching to see what I could find. As, as a content creator, I, I don't know every person behind some of the companies that send me product. Uh, a lot of them are anonymous. They send me a product on behalf of their company. I find out if it's a vegan company or not, and, you know, I go from there. I don't, I don't, I'm not privy to the, um, the background of, of a lot of these people. So this is something that I, I obviously I don't support. And, uh, but also I want to get to the bottom of this. So let's get right into it. So Sweet Hazel and Co. is out in Salt Lake City, Utah. They make vegan candy and it looks like they also make vegan food. They have got a little uh, restaurant there as well. And if we go over to their Instagram account, uh, so yeah, they're out, they're out in Midvale, Utah. So I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. This right here is the owner. You need this for Sunday. Yum. We just got done making the seven layer bean dip. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Come and get it. This thing is heavy. Okay. So, uh, her name is Chef Fee, uh, Felicia. Okay. So, so that, that's her. And I just brought up a video when searching for her name. A Salt Lake County woman is behind bars accused of offering a man her 13-year-old relative's virginity for $10,000. ABC4's Annie Cutler just spoke with DA Sim Gill. Annie, has this been going on for some time? Well, at this point, it's unsure how long this is going on. It's certainly a very serious case that they're looking into every aspect, looking and turning over every rock to make sure that they have all the information they need. But at this point, we can tell you that the suspect in this case is a, 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 a Felicia Ray McClure. And she, again, was offering sex with uh, a family member of hers, an underage family member, to a gentleman for upwards of about $10,000. And at this point, she is facing two counts of aggravated sex abuse of a child. Those are first degree felonies. Also, two counts of exploitation of a minor. Those are second degree felonies. And those second degree felonies come from apparently the minor uh, had her picture taken by this gentleman. And that those photos were also subsequently sent to some other adults. So, um, Lots of levels in this case, uh, lots of laws being broken, and again, the district attorney's office is looking into all they can to make sure that they have all of the right people to file all of the correct charges. At this point, no information on where the young girl is, but she's obviously being uh, taken care of and in good hands right now. Live in Salt Lake, Annie Cutler, ABC4 News. So when you do a simple search for Felicia Ray McClure, you get several articles. This one right here is from May 24th. 2011 and it says a mother has been charged for trying to sell her 13 year old daughter's virginity for ten thousand dollars 
Felicia Ray McClure's alleged proposal was discovered by her boyfriend, Richard Glazer, who found a series of text messages discussing the deal on her phone. The man in question has been identified only as being called Don. And this is a picture of Felicia. And that is the same person who owns Sweet Hazel Co. Charged, a mother has appeared at Utah 3rd District Court, charged with trying to sell her daughter's virginity. Salt Lake County Prosecutor Sim Gill said the woman, 32 at the time, had promised Don that her daughter would perform sex acts in exchange for $10,000. The girl told police she initially consented to the arrangement, but later decided she did not want to follow through, Gill added. The mother from Salt Lake City, Utah, also admitted to taking the girl to a Victoria's Secret store where she opened the dressing room door for Don to watch the girl model bras and thong underwear. The Salt Lake Tribune reported she is further accused of sending pictures of the girl wearing lingerie to another man in exchange for cash. The negotiations for the pictures and the sex acts are alleged to have occurred between April 1st and May 18th. Gill would not discuss details of any investigation of the man known as Don or the other man who received photos of the girl. He would not comment on whether police have identified those men or whether their ages are known. The mother, who is reported to have confessed to police, was charged yesterday at Utah's 3rd District Court with two counts of aggravated sex abuse and two counts of sexual exploitation of a minor. She was remanded in custody on Monday night. There are several pictures of her that corresponds to the owner of the uh, Sweet Hazel Co. Instagram account. Here she is on the site, Home Facts, uh, registered sex offender or kidnapper. It's got all of her information here. Uh, she's currently 43, according to this. And then criminal record, offense or statute, exploitation of a minor, second degree. They, they look like they're all the same. So several different um, counts and the convicted date is February 13th of 2012. All right. I also found this site right here, which is offenderradar.com. Uh, Felicia Ray McClure. This is her, uh, date of birth, age 44. Uh, let's see, let's just get down to the offenses and it's 76, five, three sexual exploitation of a minor second degree felony. Uh, date of conviction is 213-12, Utah. Uh, release date, so she was released 9-20-2013. Uh, so that's her. I also messaged her directly today, and this is what I said. I said, I've been hearing some bad things today. Can you clarify? And she writes, in my deepest, darkest past, 13 years ago, I was a drug addict using drugs, selling drugs, and I was doing sex work and was groomed by a man. He asked to buy her virginity when she was 16. So she says 16 and the articles and everything, the charges say 13. I told him no. He continued to groom me, then her. Nothing happened and was stopped before things could have gone farther. He's not in prison, nor did he go to prison. He is the predator, but I know I played a part in this and I've spent my life since owning up to it and redeeming myself. Since completing everything required of me, including prison time, I am a different human being. I am a contributing member of society, business owner, supporting organizations and causes that help animals and my queer community. I will only look forward at how I can become the best human I can be and make impactful changes to the world around me. I try every day to be a good person and to help others. My story is of redemption, recovery, and reform. I will be putting out a public statement soon. I am so sorry. I know this is shocking, and I understand if you hate me or don't like me. I'm just trying to make good vegan food, help animals, and people. So that's really the only information that I have right now. It sounds like she's trying to do her best to be a positive force in society and get on with her life. And I always say, uh, generally give people a second chance. However, when it comes to crimes against children, I got to say, I don't want anything to do with this. 
and I want people to know I do not support any of the posts that I made. I have taken them all down as of right now. And if there, I, I posted so much about this. If somebody does find something that I forgot, just please just let me know that it's up there. Um, I don't want anybody to go there and buy the stuff on my behalf. Um, that's completely up to you. And I would say for me, I have, you know, not to be judgy or anything, but I have, I don't have children, but I do have young nieces and nephews. And, you know, we sat together and we made the caramel apples from them uh, in, in a YouTube video. And we had a lot of fun doing that. And when it comes to children, you know, the, the one person in the world that is supposed to be there to protect a child is their mother, their mother and their father. But their mother is supposed to be there to protect them, to do what's right and do anything they can to make sure no harm is done to them. And because of this, I, I can no longer support this company. And I had to come out and say this because um, I supported them so much in the past. So I just want people to know I, I no longer support this company and you can make your own decisions from this. Uh, this Again, this is all the information I have. As far as I could see, uh, they turned off the comments on their Instagram account. Uh, they didn't deny any of this. And uh, I noticed that they made a new account and they followed me on TikTok this morning and they uh, reposted one of my, my videos. But I've since gone and I've I've taken those down. So, you know, it's a lot of work to make these videos. And then when you find out stuff like this, it's just this kind of stuff is not okay. You know, uh, crimes against kids are the one thing that, you know, not okay. Like I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't want anything to do with this. So that's really all the information I have. And that's all I have to say about this, uh, situation here. I just wanted to come out and say, I do not support this in case anybody, uh, linked my name to this company uh, once all these allegations uh, came back out after over 12 years or so.